Come, you masters of war. Here that build the big guns. Hi, guys. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that our Russia and America, Stan or America, is uh, doing joint um, exercises together. And they're, the FEMA links they're looking for, some of them aren't working, but I'm going to show you when this started and where it started. And this has been happening since 2009. So um, I don't agree with it. No, I don't, because I think that sometimes when we say, you know, Russia's our enemy, they're actually all part of the grand, you know, scheme of things. Of course they're going to be involved in some kind of exercises over here. So um, I'm going to show you where this started, and um, they've already done some exercises here. They actually did one with um, a simulated hijacking and some stuff over the Bering Sea. I think that was in 2011. They, they've done a lot of things, excuse me, um, and I'm going to leave the link to this one because this one consists of everything from 2009 to 2012. I don't know what's happened after that. I would have to go down another rabbit hole. And I'm going to enjoy the sun because I live in the Olympic rainforest. And we don't really get a lot of sun and hot weather. So I'm going to go swimming today. But I wanted to leave this link for you guys so you can check it out. And here's your link so you can go through it and point out. Maybe some of you can point out some of the exercises better than me that have been done. I have read this and it goes into almost every facet of our life. Um, so here we go. Hold on. All right. I don't know if you can see this. I don't have a screencast. Um, excuse me. I just want to let you guys know that this is from the U.S. Department of State and it's called Diplomacy in Action. This is the U.S. Russia Bilateral Presidential Commission Spring 2012 joint report. Now, as I said, this has been going on since 2009. Um, it gives you a list of things you can look at here. Um, this is just the summary of it right here. Um, the U.S.-Russia Presidential Commission continues to broaden and deepen cooperation between our governments and peoples to advance common interests. Sorry about that. Over the past year, the commission structure has grown with working groups on innovation and rule of law and that that word just really blows me away I, I you'll have to read their rule of law section <clears throat> because we know that we are not under the rule of law of our constitution because that was squashed in 1871 so this is their rule of law okay just just get me on that one uh, US and Russian government agencies now support the work of the Commission and have facilitated over 400 meetings, exchanges, exercise, and other joint projects since the Commission's start. The Commission has also served as a venue for connecting American and Russian citizens across a wide range of professions from high technology entrepreneurs to business students, from doctors to nuclear scientists, from counter narcotics experts to great, or excuse me, to green technology innovators. So, um, I was going to try to see if I could find the one I did read. Um, perhaps the Commission's most important work this year has been on the people-to-people -people front. A new agreement will make multiple entry, three-year visas, the norm for American and Russian business people and tourists. Okay, that agreement. Um, that's not the one I was really ta thinking about because there is drills. They've got the policy steering group. They have workshops, round tables, um, agriculture working groups. You know, I, I'm about sick of anything agriculture because I'm an organic farmer. Um, and see, some of these are 2011, you guys, um. And it will go on to talk about some of the um, things. Arms Control and International Security Working Group. Um, business Development Development and Economic Relations Working Group. Um, 
civil society working group. Um, so, I mean, this goes on, and if you read this, it will tell you about some of the, um, the, I, th I just can't remember where exactly it was when I, where I read that in here. Like I said, this is very long, but they've, um, counter narcotics, I, I just think that is wild. Um counterterrorism so and we know who the terrorists are so but defense relations working group but they have practiced some a lot of things they um, they have the US Defense Logistics Agency distribution center in Pennsylvania Pennsylvania to observe the US model for military logistics support they are pretty much in everything that is involved in America. Education, culture, sports, media working group. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you see, RT may be kind of a psyop too. I'm not saying it is, but I mean we we're merging emergency situations. Here's the one about FEMA. The Commission Emergency Situations Working Group is co-chaired by the U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency Administrator Craig Fugate and Minister Sergei Shogu of the Russian Ministry for Emergency Situations and it's called AmeriCom and you can look up AmeriCom it's E-M-E-R-C-O-M -E so we can just start calling America AmeriCom -E <laughs> the working group promotes Enhanced U.S.-Russia cooperation in the field of emergency management in partnership with a wide range of U.S. and Russian agency, including the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and AmeriCon, um, the U.S. Departments of State, Homeland Security, Defense, FEMA, and the U.S. Agency for International Development. They, the, the goal of sharing best practices and improving emergency response. Um, this has everything in it. It'll even tell you some of the um, things that FEMA and uh, Emercon, I, I don't know if I'm saying this, I say Emercon, it's Emercon, com, have done together. They have hosted some drills, um, just to let you know. So, um, they have an energy working group. I Like I said, they're involved in almost every part of our society. The environmental, Agenda 21 here. So, you, you have them in, involved in that. Um, health working group. I'm sure they'll be putting some vaccines in our arms, not mine. Um, I just, I think you should read through this um, because we are in just tied at the hip with them. Military cooperation working group so um, I think that what you see sometimes on the mainstream media like Russia says no to going to Syria some of this is just distractions if you come here and and look at this page so I'm going to leave this link for you and you guys can read it like I said it's very long um, I mean it even goes into space stuff you can, you can um, even go farther into this if you want. Anyway, I love you all. I hope you're not overheated from the weather. And um, as we know, it's hot. We even we got up in the upper 90s yesterday here where I live. I hung out in the swimming pool. And I guess we're going to be hotter today. So um, I'm going to send peace, love, and truth to everyone and leave this link below. And if you find something else, uh, please leave it below. But here's where you can find a lot of information about Russia and America relations. And I'm out.